Hello and welcome to this James Bike Eye, where in this video we're checking out the brand new Gen 3 version of the Trek Marlin. The Marlin is Trek's most affordable hardtail in their lineup, and this being the Marlin 5 means it's the beginning model to get the brand new frame. So in this video we're going to go into the features and designs of this bike. We'll talk about what the Marlin's for, who might enjoy riding it, and a couple of neat features that I think make this pretty cool. Talking Trek Marlin. Now, this Marlin, the new generation of the bike, is a pretty good looking bike. And in fact, uh, I personally kind of love this uh, paint scheme. It goes from that purple up front down to whatever this blue. It almost, it looks like a, not quite a fade uh, or even a paint spill, but rather this hmm, decoupage of color as it goes to the black for the rear chainstay. Now all that comes together on a alpha silver aluminum frame and this is where most of the upgrades are for the brand new model. Now the Trek Marlin series rocks a hundred millimeter front suspension fork. All Trek Marlins are going to have a suspension fork and in fact this bike is going to come available in a wide range of frame sizes. The Marlin comes from an extra small all the way to an extra large and in fact, the extra small and small rock 27 and a half inch wheels connected up to the frame, while sizes medium to extra large are rocking these 29 inch wheels. Now the 29 inch wheels are wrapped in some XT3 comp tires from Bontrager in a 29 by 2.4 and the size extra small and small 27 and a half inch by 2.4. So nice chunky meaty tire that's coming on this bike but that alpha silver aluminum gets brand new geometry for the new bike in fact the reach of the bike so how long the front end is has gotten longer the wheelbase has been stretched a little and the head tube and c tube angle have been really updated now a head tube angle on this bike is 65 and a half degrees and that means that the front end is kind of slacked out a little bit more over the prior generation bike which means the bike is going to be a lot more stable going downhill or in technical terrain it also kicks the front wheel out a little more to give you some additional stability and then out back you're now in a more efficient position with a 74 degree effective seat tube angle now what that means is that means you've been pushed a little bit further forward which is why they've lengthened the reach on this bike and this bike in a size medium large the reach is 455 millimeters and that's just giving you more room to be able to maneuver the front end and it effectively makes the rear end a little bit tighter. Now this is of course still a recreational mountain bike so it's not quite as snappy as some of the top end versions the Roscoe things like that but we do have a 438 millimeter chainstay length which is plenty snug and allows them to make this bike be super playful. 100 millimeters of front suspension travel on the Marlin 5 still comes with a lockout. It is, of course, a coil non-dampened fork, the SR Suntour XCT fork. That's a place where, of course, as you were to get into riding more, you might upgrade or higher-end versions of the Marlin come with a better quality fork. Cockpit-wise is a super wide Bontrager handlebar check out just how wide that is give you a bit more control over that front end that 29 inch tire a blender stem which allows you a spot to be able to mount say your phone things like that onto it and then this bike is going to be a one by nine drivetrain system utilizing shimano's q's mountain bike drivetrain on the left hand side you'll see it's devoid of anything other than brakes and that's because this bike does not come with a dropper post but very neatly, the bike is cable routed for an internal dropper. So pretty quick and easy additional thing that you could add to the bike for maybe 150 bucks to help get that saddle out of the way. Now, before we jump into the drivetrain, we should check out the brakes. These are Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, two piston caliper on the front and on the rear. And speaking of rear, that's where we've got the Shimano Q's drivetrain. This is a one by nine drivetrain which utilizes this Linklide LG300 11 to 46 tooth rear cassette, which is operated through the U4000 Q's rear derailleur, which 
is a nine speed setup, but it is non clutched. So that's another place as you upgrade, you may get a clutched rear derailleur to help with chain slap. But in this case, there's a nice guard that's across the aluminum chain stay to help avoid against some noise. Now, speaking of which, up front is our threaded bottom bracket. Going through is a square taper with a pro wheel 30 tooth chain ring and 170 millimeter crank arms. And finally, before we jump into weight, we should talk about some of the versatility and flexibility of a bike like this. Well, the Marlin has been in Trek's lineup as that entry level mountain bike to really get you out into the trail and be capable of some XC to light all mountain terrain. And this new one has definitely extended that capability, but it has not thrown away its ability to be a ruggedized commuter. Now, a lot of people have used this bike for that style of riding, and they've done that with this rack mount that's set up on the back so you can put a rack. You're also able to add an integrated kickstand to the bike, which is nice. And a lot of people have been able to increase the versatility by using the rack mounts that are on this bike. It also has an integrated kickstand mount to be able to add a kickstand. And you do, of course, have two water bottle mounts, including the seat tube and the down tube on sizes medium and larger. Well, now that we've taken a look at all the features and designs of this Trek Marlin 5, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. And the actual weight of the Trek Marlin 5 comes in and weighs 31.78 pounds. Thanks for joining me on this video on the Trek Marlin 5. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and definitely browse the channel to see more videos like this to check out as well.